Long time no see, dear viewers. We at Tomo had been very, very naughty, and YouTube was angry with us for a bit. So that was fun. But now that we're back, we bring you an important announcement. There is a meteor shower going on, and we mean right now. Perseids are meteor showers that appear to come out of the constellation Perseus every August. According to National Geographic, the Perseid meteor showers can feature an average of between 60 to 100 shooting stars in the peak hour. Perseids are caused by the debris field of the comet Swift-Tuttle. This comet was first spotted in 1864, and it treks around the sun about every 133 years. The comet also leaves behind a trail of debris across Earth's orbit. The comet's diameter of 26 kilometers is longer than Manhattan at 21 kilometers. This makes Swift-Tuttle the biggest object to repeatedly approach Earth other than the Moon. Space.com reports the comet is expected to come within 1.7 million kilometers of Earth in 3044. Of course, none of us will be around by then. The Earth crosses Swift-Tuttle's debris field in August every year. When fragments of the comet fall into the atmosphere, they burn up and become meteors. According to Space.com, the best time to view the Perseids is during their peak at 2 a.m. on August 12th, Eastern Daylight Time. So you're into stars and moons and stuff, first of all. Catch your breath, you nerd. But that's only because we have a ton of content about meteors, asteroids, and the supermoon to show you. According to NASA, the moon will reach its closest point to Earth in 2020 on April 7th, getting as close as 356,907 kilometers from Earth. This phenomenon is popularly known as the super pink moon. The full moon will appear on Tuesday night. It will emerge on the opposite side of the sun according to Earth-based longitude at 10.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The closeness between Earth and a supermoon makes the moon seem around 7% larger than the average full moon and 14% brighter than when the moon is at apogee. NASA explains that the super pink moon receives its name from the herb moss pink, also known as wild ground phlox, which blooms in eastern United States during spring. Unfortunately, with all the lockdowns and self-isolation regulations imposed in countries around the world, not many people will be out moon gazing. But hey, if you have a window or porch or any access to the outside world, take a moment to go out, look up at the sky, and forget the corona craze for just a while. Last month, an asteroid the size of Midtown Manhattan got a little too close to comfort. Now, another space rock that could wreak havoc on Earth is about to get a little bit closer. According to NASA, this year's second-largest potentially hazardous near-Earth object is incoming at speeds of over 11,000 km per second and will zoom past our planet on May 21st. Asteroid 136796, also known as 1997BQ, is estimated by NASA to be between 640 meters and 1.4 kilometers wide. That's roughly the size of the Golden Gate Bridge. 1997BQ orbits our Sun every 844 days. It crosses Earth's orbit twice on its journey around the Sun on its closest approach and travels beyond Mars and near the asteroid belt at its farthest approach. According to NASA's Asteroid Watch, on May 21st, it will pass Earth at a distance of 6.2 million kilometers. That's more than 16 times the average distance between Earth and the Moon, but slightly closer than this year's largest potentially hazardous near-Earth object, 1998 OR2, got to Earth on April 29th. A huge asteroid classified as potentially hazardous by NASA is barreling toward Earth at speeds of 31,320 kilometers per hour and will street past our planet on April 29th. Asteroid 52768, also known as 1998 OR2, is estimated by NASA to be between 1.8 to 4.1 kilometers wide. That's roughly the size of Midtown Manhattan. It takes asteroid 1998 OR2 three years and eight months to orbit our Sun. Its journey takes it near Jupiter at its furthest point, but just outside Earth's farthest distance from the Sun on its closest approach. According to NASA's Asteroid Watch, on April 29th, it will pass Earth at a distance that is more than 16 times the average distance between Earth and the Moon. 
NASA classifies a near-Earth object, either a comet or an asteroid, as a potentially hazardous object if its orbit brings it within 7.5 million kilometers of Earth's orbit, and it is greater than 140 meters in size. According to NASA Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, as of April 21st, some 22,582 near-Earth objects had been discovered. The latest data on the center's website shows that 9,085 of these were 140 meters or larger in size, and 902 were estimated to be larger than 1 kilometer. By comparison, the Chicxulub asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs is estimated to have been a whopping 18 to 81 kilometers in diameter. More on that asteroid later. NASA says that no human in the past 1,000 years is known to have been killed by a meteorite or the effects of a meteorite impacting. We had a close call in 2013, when the Chelyabinsk meteor came out of nowhere and exploded over Siberia and leveled more than 2,000 square kilometers of uninhabited forest. Shockwaves from that asteroid, which was only the size of a house, blew out windows and damaged buildings over a 500-square-kilometer area and injured more than 1,600 people, according to NASA. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.